Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with my Precision Matthews 935 TS Nemil. Uh, this is new to me in the shop. I didn't get it brand new, but I got it almost brand new. It's, it was very slightly used. And the guy gave me a ton of thousands of dollars worth of uh, equipment with it and things. Uh, behind there, I've got a couple more vices, but uh, I've done some modifying to it, as I like to do with things. And uh, let's take a closer look at some things. First off, I put a variable frequency drive on it right here, VFD, and that works exceedingly well. And we've got a tachometer above it right there. Right here, I put a uh, on-off floor-operated on-off switch, and as you can see, everything comes on. And there's a 12 volt power supply right there to operate the uh, cabinet lights and the quill light. And we have a X drive, power drive. And it's running very, very slow. Let's see about how slow it'll go. It'll go pretty slow. Anyway, there's that. And we have a tachometer on it. And this is where the hull sensor for the tachometer is affixed. It's really easy to put on. I just enlarged the hole in this plate. I drilled the shaft a little bit, except uh, I can't remember what threading it is now. I think it's 1032. And it was just really easy to hook up. So, uh, I'll include uh, in the notes below this some of uh, the places I got uh, the hardware. One of the things I'm really pleased with is this. There was a hole in here normally from just when it was molded. You can see it says cabin light and it says quill light. Flip it this way. And there's your quill light, and there's so much storage in these, in this cabinet, and here is the cabinet lights. I uh, hinged the doors, and these are called lift-off hinges. Make sure you get left-handed ones. I got the right-handed at first, but you just lift the door right off. And, uh, you can't put it back on with one hand. You should see, look, you see right there, kind of ribbed. The stays going across there and uh, passing them in. There's just a whole lot of room in this machine. And I'm getting ready to fill it up. It's not full now because I want to show it. As you can see, I have uh, a light here and light here and down below and they are they're weatherproof LEDs. And this, this handle I will uh, list below. I'll try to move it up. The notes. I have uh, for my knee lift is an air powered uh, Campbell house build and it's got that special attachment some guy on eBay sells. I just couldn't give a thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars for a, a knee lift. It's not that critical to me. And we have a brand new Kurt Vice on it, six incher. And I got this rubber from a store called Rural King in our area and it actually cuts really easy. I've got a real thin kerf uh, blade on my table saw, and I just cut it on my table saw. It didn't gum it up too awful bad. I was able to clean the blade in a couple of minutes. And I even put some on my bias there because mm -hmm. still kind of new with this machine. So the tack is really accurate. I uh, actually bought a, a separate handheld tack to check it against, and it was only one RPM difference. So, um, and I've raised it up about six inches with these two by six steel, uh, steel beams and these hulky casters. Uh, they say they're for, good for about 3,300 pounds total. And I'd say this is about taxing them, but, uh, so I can roll it around and then I can place it where I, I like it. And uh, I know some people don't like it, but I do. And then of course we've got it held on with the nickel plated acorn nuts and the I think it's a three-quarter inch threaded rod runs down through there. And we've got our one-shot lube. And uh, I think that's it. 
I'm really pleased with it and uh, hope that people can use some of these modifications and uh, like I say I'll try to remember to list them below but thanks for looking folks as always I appreciate you and uh, that's the bracket I made for the VFD and uh, I know this is kind of close to the work, so I've got a charcoal filter right here covering up the vent holes, but it breathes really well. And then I've got one up top here, so if something lands up here, it doesn't get down in there. Hopefully uh, that will work very well. We'll see. But uh, thank you for looking. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, bye for now.